we saw that economic growth can be actual economic growth where there will be a rise in ad in other words it's a demand side ad or it could be a supply side ad where there is what we call a rise in potential output we call that as potential economic growth Let's explore some of the causes of uh, both demand side and supply side uh, economic growth. On the demand side, any rise in you know C, I, G, or X minus M can cause the AD curve to shift to the right, and therefore can cause uh, actual economic growth to happen. So government expenditure can go up, that can lead to a rise in G. Or similarly, if there is a reduction in taxes, can lead to uh, higher consumption or higher investment because disposable income will now go up because taxes like direct taxes are going down. Similarly, depreciation of the currency where we lower our exchange rate that can lead to exports to become cheaper and imports to become expensive and that can also cause X minus M to go up which in turn will make the AD curve to shift to the right and therefore GDP to go up. Uh, similarly, the government could do what we call lowering their interest rates, which is basically called uh, sometimes a monetary policy, and this can result in uh, consumption and investment to go up. That is something which we'll talk about more in detail later on, but that rise in consumption and investment can cause AD to shift to the right as well. Similarly, there could be also higher rail wages because of lower inflation and that means more purchasing power which can lead to higher consumption and therefore higher aggregate demand on the supply side there will be also uh, changes that can take place which is basically going to be our potential uh, output to go up or lras to shift out or ppc to shift out any improvement in the quality or quantity of factors of production can lead to such kind of uh, economic growth to happen. For example, higher investment means more funds dedicated to the production of capital goods, which can result in uh, basically more consumer and capital goods in the future. Improvement in technology again will result in uh, higher productivity for the workers who are now using a better technology and that can cause economic growth to happen. Similarly, higher labor productivity, uh, including education and training, are all supply side policies that can make our quality of factors of production to go up and therefore our PPC to shift to the right or LRAS to curve to shift to the right. Similarly, higher quantity of workforce, which means basically larger workforce, and that can happen through, you know, immigration into the country, or for example, you know, like uh, uh, better policies by the government, which encourage people to work, can cause again supply side uh, sort of uh, improvement and cause LRAS to shift to the right or PPC sh to shift to the right. Lastly, uh, any discovery or development of natural resources can make our LRAS to shift out or PPC to shift to the right. So any improvement in the quality or quantity of factors of production can lead to what we call a potential output to go up.